Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to another tutorial on Reaper. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you a little bit about how to use the new, uh, the, uh, the new FX or Media Bay uh, in Reaper in the beta versions. And as you can see, I'm using the uh, Reaper version for well, beta 9, 64 bit edition. And you can find that on the uh, on the uh, Reaper forums if you look for the uh, uh, development uh, current versions for the X. So uh, when this gets started, the uh, FX Bay is accessible by going to View and Project Media or FX Bay or Control B. And once you click on that, you'll see a little bit of uh, splendor like this. And what this is is basically uh, all the patterns or or, or uh, anything you you have for like MIDI items or audio items you can access all those there if you go to source media that would be uh, any of the audio items and um, and um, all that uh, you can be can be seen in Project Bay now the Project Bay basically if you're familiar with the uh, FL Studio patterns it does the exact same thing and uh, so so you could reuse uh, any of the uh, MIDI items in your project even if you delete them and how you do that is you just right click on the window here and you go to uh, Automatically retain media items when removed from project, and that'll give you um, that'll allow that to happen. So, for example, you could delete a, a part, and it would still be there, and it would say inactive here in status. So, uh, so uh, just to give you an idea of how this works, I'm just going to play you a little bit of the uh, project I've got going here and show you how to how I can use it. So, play a little bit of it. So, it's just a slow intro there. But um, but uh, so say I want to uh, double a part or something. Instead of looking for the uh, MIDI items at the top or wherever they might be, instead of dragging and you know doing all that, it's all right here. So say if I want to double this uh, sus intro, it's just a matter of dropping, dragging and dropping, just like that. And now there it is. So uh, I can listen back to it now and see how it sounds. So there it is. Really simple really easy and very useful as well. Now there's some other features that I'll show you. It's also um, possible to preview uh, in your selected track, um, say like uh, one of the parts you have, just to see. So if you want to see how it might sound on another instrument, that's easily doable. So, uh, so for example, um, I've got this here. This last intro, I could just preview it by uh, clicking this play button, and then it plays like that. So uh, very useful. Uh, secondly, uh, you can actually well, you, you can actually make it so that it automatically um, reflects the um, selection in the uh, track view. So, um, how you do that is you just go uh, uh, mirror selection in Bay and Project. So all these options are there, and uh, it's pretty easy to use. And uh, one other thing that's really useful is our folders. So. Um, so what you can do is you just go uh, right click anywhere and create new folder and you can so, so for example of strings um, I mean you can create a folder and uh, that'll that really helps to organize things so for example I can right click I can shift click all these and then store them in this folder for strings and now they're there so I can group things more efficiently uh, so I find all these features very useful and I thought I'd share them with you and uh, that, those, there's also effects so you can see all your currently loaded um, uh, FX and uh, what, what's going on there so that's very useful and um, so uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the um, mixer uh, and the track uh, track resizing so uh, as you can see the uh, mixer below is a little bit different it's not your traditional mixer now it is true that they reskin the whole Reaper 4 and everything but um, but I did do something so all you need to do is select the tracks you want to resize. So, uh, for example, I'll just choose the um, OSR I've got running here. I just should click all these, and um, I need to go to, go to set track layout and go to mixer panel. You can choose from a variety of options. So, uh, if 
I wanted, say, uh, large, I can have these ones be uh, large. So there they are, large. And uh, now everything else, notice that everything else uh, isn't. So you can really customize the way that your tracks appear, which I find very useful. Um, so uh, the same thing can also be done with tracks. So uh, say I have these things here, I just want to make them look a little different. Um, just go to set track layout and uh, track panel and uh, minimal, say minimal, and uh, and it just makes them minimal. <laughs> and different sizes occur, and you can you can really customize things. So um, so hopefully that helped you guys. And uh, uh, if any questions, fire off. And uh, uh, see you later. Thanks.